Jamie and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about a missing persons named Joshua Brian Bohannon. He is 27 years old and he has recently in um, June the 3rd of 2021 went missing from here in East Tennessee. He lived with his wife Jessica in Crossville with her sister in her sister's apartment and her name was Danielle Nicole Cooper. Joshua and Jessica have been married for three years and they have two children and I'm not real sure who has the children at this point but Joshua was last seen on June the 3rd of 2021 with his wife Jessica at Burgess Falls area. She reported him missing at Burgess Falls. She said that she last seen him in a house that they went to belonging to the uh, property of the Burgess Falls State Park that they had went and broken into the house and when the park ranger came, Josh said that he heard someone and so Jessica said she ran out the back door and ran around to the side and started talking to the park ranger. The park ranger told her at that point that she was not allowed to be there. And so Jessica told the park ranger, okay, we will leave. And so the park ranger said, who is we? So she said she made up a fake name because her husband Joshua was wanted by the police. So she gave a fake name and then she left. She said as she got into her car, she yelled for Josh. I'm not sure what name she would yell out if she was given a fake name. And then she left. The park ranger says that he never seen Joshua there. But Jessica said he that's the last place she left him. She also stated that she drove down the road and crossed over some bridge and asked a lady for directions how to get to the nearest gas station. So she went and got gas and she came back and drove up and down every road, yelling for Josh, looking for Josh, and there was no sign of Josh anywhere. So, she went over to Josh's parents' house, and I believe they live in Cookville, Tennessee, which is about 30 minutes from Crossville. And at that time, she told Josh's mom, or aunt, that she could not find Josh. She had last seen him at Burgess Falls. So, she thought the family would help her go look for Josh. And then instead, they called the police and reported Josh missing. And Jessica said that she ran away and hid on the other side of a fence all night because she had a warrant out for herself for not appearing for a court date. And then so the next morning, she got into her car and went to Burger King, and as she was in Burger King, someone arrested her for not appearing to court, and so she served 20 days in jail. She says that police thought that he would come out of hiding, and he never has. They can't find him anywhere. She said that's the last place that they seen her and him. They didn't even see him. They just seen her was at the house they broke into on Burgess Falls and he has been missing since then. There's been no trace or anything of Josh and he is a top one diabetic. And he has not had his medicine since that day. So his mom knows there's no way he can make it without it. it really odd that he would just disappear but I've linked next uh, in the video some text messages from Jessica that she was 
talking to people about why she was incarcerated or right afterwards. And then also some other messages from her sister named Danielle, who has said some rather odd stuff. And then recently, since then, Jessica, Josh Bohannon's wife, has moved on to start a new relationship with a new man, which I find all rather strange. I know I would never be able to start a new relationship not knowing where my husband was, where my children's father were, but everyone handles stuff differently. Jessica has recently back into jail for uh, different charges for not a, for failure to appear in court, I believe, for dr drug related charges. But she goes on to tell a story about how they were um, taking Xanax, laced with fentanyl, and so she doesn't remember anything that happened that day, and she doesn't remember getting taken to jail or fingerprinted or anything. So I just linked a bunch of stuff in the. Um, video for everyone to check out and I just uh, would like to uh, help this family and this mom solve the case of where her missing son is. So if you have any information just contact the Sheriff's Department in Cumberland County or also um, Cookville, Putnam County, Tennessee. And everyone, thank you for watching my video. And I will update soon if I get any more information on where this Joshua Bohannon could possibly be.